The eight music cues written by George Hobbs Gibbons are ambience-based tracks post-processed on tape machines. Due to the irregular temporal characteristics of each piece, I decided to implement a horizontal structure to the interactive music, in which different cues shift between each other based on the narrative moment of gameplay. After importing each music segment into WISE, I began to adjust the entry and exit cues. I decided to position most entry and exit cues at the points where the tape recording start and stop, in order to preserve the characteristics of the tape recording. I then sorted each segment into one of three playlist containers, Explore, Fight and Menu, as these three playlists categorise the three main states of gameplay. All playlists were then placed into a music switch container named Music. In the Game Syncs tab, I created states for each playlist under a single state group. These states were then assigned to the correct playlist containers in the Music Switch Association Editor. In the Transition tab of the Music Switch container, I created the conditions for each playlist transition possibility. The rules define when and how each playlist can transition into the next, generating many possibilities for how music cues drive narrative. For instance, the Explore music transitions quickly into a random cue within the middle of a fight music segment when an enemy approaches, however the fight music gradually fades to silence after the enemy is dead before starting a random Explore segment from the start. In the player manager script, I created three functions that set each of the three music states individually. The menu music is called when the game menu is opened and in the main menu scene. The fight music function is called whenever an enemy locates the player and starts to chase. This happens when the player is within a look radius from the enemy. The explore music function is triggered when the player is safe from enemies and roaming the map. In order to stop states from being recalled when they are currently active, I created a set of boolean conditions that stop re-triggering. Thank you.